Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Play Matty J's Society this week coming from Temakula Creek, which I believe was a recent CC entrant into their design competition. Mick Rogers is leading the way out here, but that can all change on the field. So let's check it out. As you can see, if you look in the top right hand corner, my handicap has been plummeting since my TGC tours last week. I can't put two rounds together. I'll have one decent round, one bad round, one decent round, one bad round. I was up around 30, it's down to 22.8. So that's an indicator of how bad I've been playing of late. We will be playing from their blue tees, pin set three, and I've set everything else to default for this week's challenge. So let's, in your rear view is the designer here. Let's check out his Temecula Creek. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. I mean, I did, I wasn't expecting to make it through my elite tours, so I didn't bring you the first and second round videos of them, but somehow I scraped the cut. Um, oh, unlike the last two weeks where I've been in third I'm and six, I'm around 40, 50 off, off with a par but I will make the cut kind of and the maybe that's what better that? for me because I put a lot of pressure on myself to get bonus points the last couple of weeks. So maybe I can just come out swinging in round three and four. So I will try and bring them your way later this week. Um, but yeah. Interesting first hole. Okay, I've not seen this course before. I am playing this blind. Looks like a bobbly fairway. So as long as you catch the right bobble, you can stay on them. You catch the wrong one, you can fly off them. But yeah, I was, I've been um, hit and miss. I've made a leak cut again, so I was shocked with that. I'm happy with that, but also shocked with it. But yeah, I just um, had a few warm up swings. Some were great, some were awful. So that's the way my game is right now. That should work out all right. To the left. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, nice it will work, John. 142 right, pins. Jeez, these these green grids seem super bright. Is that just me? Maybe my eyes. I've got new lenses in, as I said before, and I think they're affecting me quite badly as well. Uh, but these green grids look way brighter than usual. I don't know if that's, that's me or not, but that is hurting my eyes to look at. I won't be spending much time on the putt scent. It could be a good one. And that's Nicely an opening done. birdie. Looks like a nice enough course though. Oh, Alan Eastwood's been recommending these courses in early 1981's Discord, so I was just picking some off there. But tomorrow's course will be back to one of yeah. Steve Manley's right designs, his way. latest one, Miller's Crossing. I do like his courses, always a good challenge. And he always um, sets them up nicely. I do score okay on him though. Well, that could keep me off the green here. Yep. That's gonna miss Didn't need the, the loft on that. Come on, let's do a Matty chipping. Here's our second shot on hole number two. Come on, they never happen, and they never will happen. All right, drop this on in and save your par. There's def these are definitely too bright. I need to try and turn these down somehow. God, this is for par. Looking good. Oof. All right, the puddle drop on in there for par. Good stuff. Yeah, that's my one tip on this course so far. I don't mind the rocky terrain, the hilly fairways and greens. I don't mind all that. I kind of get used to it. Um, there's Danny Boy, awesome heart. Minus two through five. He's the leader right now. Yeah, I don't mind all this. It looks nice. Quite a lot of rock work. Nicely played. I don't mind okay. it until obviously I get a horrible kick here. and then go wild. I don't think even this reaches, you know. That's just going to leave me in trouble with those 15 mile per hour winds. Yeah, I don't think you're getting there. So I think you don't really want to be coming in from that angle either. That's going to be hard to hit. Right, let's try and hit this bit of fairway by here. Please don't say I've overkegged it. Uh, not sure where this one's gonna oh, end up. That's good. Right. Hit where I wanted to. Setting Could be rough, John. For be our third shot. Mm. Let's go full. Tiny bit of loft and spin. I don't think I need much given the elevation here. 
Oh, I've shanked that. And I'm in the I'm in the mire. I should have just gone for it anyway. I'm where I thought I'd be if I hit the two fifty. So that was and this is what I mean, guys. I'm getting these really, really big slows at the minute. And it's starting to piss me off a little. And um, my swing's not changing. Dramatically. I mean, obviously, it must be changing because I'm getting them. But they're really heavy slows. Okay, after that one, you'll stick right there at one. And it's three or four around. But all right. That wind is picking up, blowing left to right on this one. It's clearly me. We're all used to this game by now, and I do love it, and I do, I know there's lots of people who um, scream and shout and let it all out about this game, but I enjoy it. I enjoy the challenge and the randomness sometimes of the swing. I don't mind it. Yeah, That's golf. Yards to the pin from here. I don't know how the guys at the top consistently hit 16, 17, 18 under. They're fair play to them. That's a lot of work. No, that's going to be too far. This all runs at it, so let's hope well, I can. Yeah, not bad. That'll do for the approach. Thought my feet. And here you go, birdie putt. We'll take that a bit more, but my slight fast must have overruled them a little. One forty. I've not played much on one forty-two green speeds. And nah, it shows. No. It's normally a bread and butter putt for me. And that puddle drop. But right, yeah, uh, guys, I'm appreciating all the support on the channel. I really am. Um, I am so close to 100 subs now. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like. It is free. Um, and if you really enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. I will keep bringing you as much as I can. Um, Looks like this I still am planning on doing a few more playthroughs in terms of All right, we've got an a putting green. hints and tips will be coming. I've been mentioning that for a while. I've stupidly deleted all my footage when I got the new PlayStation VR 2, so that has hindered the progress on that. Um, I put a lot of stuff together for it and then deleted it all. Look at empty. Uh, let's do that. This could be stupid. Yeah, that is stupid. Where am I going with that? Going along. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> just between the clubs there. But that was just done. Another, another fail pure. chip. That's pure. You'll from the fail chip master. But all right. One under, nice course, difficult challenge. Everyone's stuck at one under. <laughs> so there's Terry, Mick, Danny, Mike, Mike's plus one. But yeah, it's um, this one's a tough little course. Ball. It's just leaving, leaving you teasers. Which I quite like. All right, we'll take that. I need to start playing. I just essentially need to here. start playing better golf because this is the problem right now. I am not playing good golf. That's why. Uh, no, I have to play that again. Just between, I've been between clubs all day on this, but this will all run at the pin. So if I can land it on the left hand side, it's got to run towards it. Go. How is that not okay, taking that hill? If I'm a foot downhill here. Here we have one foot downhill. Foot I played for that. I knew I'd be a foot downhill because that should have just ran straight at it. And it just stops. It just stops. I never get lucky with the game's physics, got to be honest. Bet this doesn't stop, though. I've over that, haven't I? I massively oh over that. Yeah, no, that didn't stop, did it? Here we go. This one for par. Oh, oh how can I three putt bogey? I thought I hit a really good shot in this one. And this is what I mean, guys, with my game. Uh, I mean, that. I don't think that was on me, to be honest. But my game's just not at the races right now. Again, I'm playing to bounce off this hill and come down to the right. It's a risky shot. Setting up around 130 yards. There is a bit of a backstop, but I don't think I need it. But again, this is a tough 
tough shot in. It's a bit, bit better. I like, I like what you did there. You could have bounced anywhere, mind. Okay, here comes yeah, a nine foot putt. I think part of the issue as well, guys, with um, just the way my game is at the minute, is I've lost confidence a little bit in my putts, and I was always super and confident. Class myself was one of the better putters, and I still make most of them. But I've had... It's not that I'm not reading it. I've had probably seven or eight in the last couple of rounds real harsh lip-outs, or you know when it looks like the ball just goes straight over the hole, over the edge of the hole? Um, oof, bloody hell. This is tricky. Great swing on that one. So yeah, and the lip outs and stuff has just started to wind me up on my putts, and then I worry Second I have to hit everything dead center of the cup to make them, and then I've been trying to adjust for center cup, um, and then just getting myself all betwixt and between. So just need to have a bit more confidence in my game, I think. I think this one's going for it. Here's a look for birdie. Then that's the beauty of it. You can have your off weeks. But all right, after that bogey, that's a good bounce back. Straight back to two under. Nice way to do it. Start playing all loosey goosey. Terry's three under through 10. Let's see if I can track him down. And now teeing off on a par four. Yeah, it's just the course that wants to tempt you into doing stupid things, like going all the way down there. Nicely done. You got some good contact there. Just going to leave me on another awkward hill. And this one's about 125 yards more. out. I'm going to bank on a 118 being the right club here. Oh, no. Slowed that one. Might not be the right club. Could be still good though. Good. That yeah, worked. It was only a slight feet. slow, so it didn't have the effect. I thought I did a fast slow again, but I fouled that one. That was that one was definitely oh, Terry still edging ahead four under. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Let's, let's go here. Great swing. That's a decent enough shot. Good in the approach shot department. That's a tricky little go. hole. For oh no, I haven't made that. Oh. Look at my, I felt myself push that. Now that's where a push does impact you. You're putting. But that's also happening quite a lot. That one I felt. No. But I just think my, my joystick must be a bit loose at the, at the top. So I'm trying to shorten my putt swing. Anyway, whatever. We're somehow leading this tournament swing. at three under. So clearly everyone's finding it a bit of a challenge. Okay, we're about 250 to the pin. I'm going to hit the 250. If I bounce off this, I've got to come off this, right? If I hit it. We'll find out. Ooh, if I make it up. Oof. It's going to be a long ass putt. That is not going to be a fun putt. Putting for Eagle now. That's fine work. Fine work indeed. Come on, in. 53 feet. One foot That's up. So I'm going to bring this into this. 65 because I always overhit. The one four twos. So they're going to move. Let's go there. Let's see what happens. Not quite enough. Okay, Not bad. Not bad. Too much break. I gave that. Gave that too much. Pretty good. Gave that put too much respect. All right. Things have gotten better since that six hole bogey. So I'll take that. The game has kicked, clicked in. Guys, feel free if you are watching this video, jump in and have a go on my society. As I said, tomorrow we will be at Miller's Crossing, a new course from Stephen Manley. I try to do some new courses, some different stuff. Okay, about, I'd say 185 or so to the pin from here.
Let's play this. Touch of love, tough of spin. Now this. I feel should be good. Now I've hit that nice. How is that going left? Come on, come on, bounce to the right. There was no nothing at my feet and nothing on my swing line. And nothing in my tempo. Go, and in the wind that would have sent that that far left at the hole. Unless I missed something. Maybe I missed something. It's annoying when you hit a perfect and a perfectly straight swing line and you end up still 15 feet away. Towards that hole. Nice putt though. That one drops on in for your second Dialing them in. It's going to bring things down to 500 par. Let's put all those lip outs out of my brain. Best of luck to you on this par four. Oof, that's a narrow little crevice to get through. Back my back my drive in there. Nothing wrong with that. And this is looking to be about 155 yards out. Even if I catch the front of this green, it's just going to bounce down. So I'm not going to put too much on this. Oh no, I've massively slowed that. Massively slowed it. Oof. <laughs> Again, I felt that. I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, I don't know if it's just the position of my controller or what, but I am. Um, and I'm feeling them. Some of them I'm not, but those last two, those last slows I've had, I felt. Just feels like my, my thumb is just slipping slightly or not. Not doing what it should do, but I'm being, I'm being hunted down now. Oh, Jesus. Do you clear that? Do you clear that? Let's go this way. This has got a kick left. Okay, we're setting up here well above the uh, green. Yeah, right well here. above the green. Oh, yeah. 189, too few. Do you know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm going to roll with it. Oh, no. If I, catch, if I catch the wrong side of this green, and I did, flipping heck. Okay, third shot. What was I doing there? That was, that was a dumb onion shot. I'm about to hit that with a bit more power to just to make sure I got that up. And for a score of this is a highly birdieable, like should be eagleable hole. And if I don't make a birdie, this one's on a good line. Phew. Boom, dropping on in All right. for your seventh birdie of the day. As I said, as you can probably hear in my voice, every shot just feels loose right now for me. Six under. I was throwing in double digit rounds for fun on most rounds a couple of weeks ago. Hence, I got my handicap Here right comes up. Hole number 15. And was challenging an elite in third and sixth place until my final round blow ups. But at the minute, I'm struggling for double digits. I'm struggling for a swing. Lost a little bit of confidence in my putting, and it's all culminated in a bit of a, a lackluster mat. But he will be back. Again, it's a terrible swing. I just made sure I didn't slow that one by really nice shoving it forward way too fast. Footer. And as that drops, we're seven under as we head into the final stretch of this one. Can I go birdie, birdie, birdie and hit ten? How are the boys doing? Terry's up to six, so Terry's had a, a storm in finish. Mick and Danny boy there on at two under. Four hole on this one. Oh, come on. Let's travel all the way down to the bottom of this fairway. Let's go. Nothing wrong with that. You're right, John. There's nothing wrong with that. 155 yards out. Mm, no, there is a backstop here, or you're going to come off left or right. So let's try and just not need it. Hopefully that sits. Hop. Stop. Not bad. Go for your birdie. Well, the putt appears to be online. No, I haven't given that enough. Didn't think I'd given that enough. A little too hard. One too hard, John. Just a bad read. But a nice course. 
it's a challenging course, and it's one of those one bumpy, seven under. hilly, lots of rock work. Fair play to the guy. I'm just taking an age. Got a left to right breeze on this hole. That is a lot of rocks. Oh, I've slowed that again. I can feel it. I can feel me doing it. <laughs> I just don't know why. Because my, you, as you guys know from watching, my default swing is fast with a push. And I can just feel myself slowing a lot of stuff. Oh. It could be a good one. That's another good read. My putting has still been helping me out more than anything else. Even with me not not feeling it, it still seems to be working. Just going through the motions with it. Right. Get down to the flat. Right, let's see. And this one's about 165 yards out. Do you know what? I'm going to hit this. This may be mad. This may be madness, but I'm hitting it. Well, I think you've found. Oh, it wasn't mad. Even that was slow. That was phenomenal, and one of the phenomenal is a stretch time. Reasons. You're on the top of the leaderboard right now. Superb. Oh, it's getting there. I changed my mind. Did you see me change my mind at the end there? Move it. If I always said, don't change your mind. It's an eight under. A real crappy eight under, but a lovely course. So I like that. Alan only played two holes and was plus one, and looks like he quit. And Mike played one hole, plus one, and quit. <laughs> Terry, Mick, and Danny stuck it out. But yeah, another interesting course. I'm looking forward to checking out the new one tomorrow. So please, guys, jump in. Be one of the first to play it. Set a score for me to chase. Steve Manley will appreciate him, himself too. And I will catch you all then.